All right, so today I'm going to upgrade my beloved 2013 Mac Pro. A lot of people call it the trash can. Um, I guess it's kind of an endearing term, but um, I like it for what the design looks like in terms of like the features and whatnot. Um, so this is a four quad, and I'm going to upgrade it to a 12 quad um, core. Um, I got it on eBay, the chip, for um, a little bit under $200. I think it's actually a pretty good price. Um, part of me is pretty scared about whether I'm going to do a good job or not. But um, here's the new chip right here. So we're going to take this guy apart and see what's up. So I've been following a lot of YouTube um, videos. Um, actually, I might be doing a YouTube uh, on a YouTube. Um, so it should be kind of interesting. But um, so here's all my parts. Going to use this container for um, keep track of all the screws that I take out. This could be a T5, T8, and T10 torque screws from a lot of the tutorials I've seen. So um, I guess uh, we'll just uh, get into it and see what's going on. So it's gonna take about an hour. Um, I guess I'm gonna time myself and see how that goes, just to benchmark myself. But like I said, um, hopefully I don't damage the, the baby here. I am an Apple fan, so um, we'll see what's up. Okay, so if you would notice, um, you'd think it would be nighttime, but um, right now it is, I think about 2.30. Um, PM in San Francisco with all the crazy ash uh, in the sky. It looks like it's uh, nighttime. Um, kind of crazy. Hopefully California would uh, survive this. Um, so getting back to, re to the uh, CPU uh, change. Here's the uh, wristband for grounding yourself. Um, it was part of the kit that uh, I borrowed. I actually borrowed a lot of your tools from friends. Um, like I said, I can't afford one of the latest and greatest Mac Pro towers, the uh, cheese grater, the big old square thing. Um, so I'm just gonna see if I can put some life to um, this guy right here, uh, my buddy. Um, I actually recently just put in some RAM, so um, it'll be good. I also um, gonna blow out a lot of dust, I think, uh, once I open this sucker up. I'm sure there'll be a lot of things that um, you probably want to vacuum and, and whatnot. So we're gonna use a T10 screwdriver. I think they said to use a T8 screwdriver. Okay, we got the head out, uh, the fan assembly head off. Pretty dusty, like I said. I'm gonna blow all this stuff out, but I guess it kind of, I won't bore you with the unscrewing of these guys. I was feeling a little bit apprehensive not to like jack anything up, but um, they did come off just like the tutorial said. So I guess we got a little connector here too. I am recording. So I guess I put you into it as well. <laughs> so power supplies is awake. CPU is in here. Okay, the game plan is basically to take off these screws, the T10s, to get to the CPU. Getting kind of nervous time, huh? Maybe I'll have an aha uh -huh moment. Like, what do I hold on to? Right? A newbie guy here. Whoa. That was easy. Okay. Well, all right, so that's the chip. CPU chip. That's the paste right there. I'll give you a close up of that as soon as I put this down. Okay, here's the other part of it. Right there, this gold thing. So I was supposed to clean this off with some like alcohol. I didn't. You know, just put it all back together again. It is kind of therapeutic, actually, I have to say. Well, 
hey, it's kind of like getting to know your Mac, right? So this guy should come off. Yay! And now the CPU can come off. Oh, check it out. So this is the old one. I think it's worth $20 on eBay now. Okay, this new processor has uh, notches on both ends. You kind of see it, one here, one there, bottom. So you're supposed to line it up. One of the hardest part is basically putting your hand behind this board and getting this bracket on and then doing that star pattern like um, screwing down of the of the uh, CPU. And then you're kind of like, hey, I don't want to over tighten it because then I might freaking crack the thing or something. Here we go. Nice. So the back in there, you can kind of feel it, the paste. Now to screw it back down. Don't do this job with any sense of urgency. Take your time with it. First time for everything. It's not a, what is it? It's not a race, but a marathon. So the star pattern again, going that, 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 so. Okay, I had a compressor and I blew out all the dust and everything like that, so be a clean start. Here's the bottom part again. Unit back into the bottom thing, the bottom cap. It's almost like a turkey here. And then uh, we're gonna put the power supply back in and reverse everything that we actually did. Should be fun. It's like putting Frankenstein back together. Okay, we're at the home stretch. Reattach the fan unit to the top. And then I will say wipe her down, plug it in, and cross your fingers, huh? Okay, gotta say, definitely longer than an hour for me. I mean, I took my time, it's at least twice that. Um, I think once you get past the learning curve of like just being confident and comfortable with what's going on, or screwing it, huh, no pun intended, <laughs> um, then you'd be fine. But gosh, baby came out okay, huh? A lot of surgery there, I'm my hand prints everywhere. I'm gonna clean her up a little bit. I'll plug it in, upstairs, fire it up, and let's just get this baby going. Okay, here's the exciting part. Plug it in for the first time, power it up. Hopefully the baby fires up. sound. Come on, baby. Nice, good sign, good sign, yes! Success! 12 core, Xeon 5, running 2.7. So what I basically did was buy the low-end Mac Pro at that time, the 2013 and I've upgraded to the, the highest model that they had available.